Hi there, I'm Zelda from traditionalfairground.com and part of our Penny Arcade package features this beautiful renovated Jenko Spitfire from the late 1930s. As you can see it's an electromechanical pin table and it's flipperless because it was before those flipper type machines that we all know and love came about. This one is really remarkable though because it does have some light action on it at the top here and through these little bits uh, the ball will come through and flip over onto these wires so there's a fair bit of movement that goes on uh, and I'm just going to um, get it demonstrated now. I'd like to put a penny in Chris. So the penny goes in here which is an old one, otherwise known as a 1D and then you press this button to get your ball and off you go. Now, ooh, already you've been uh, treated to that normally you would have seen a little light and that's landed in the 500 collar. I'll pan out to get a better view. It's a lovely machine to play on. It's got a really nice feel to it. The nice about here is if it falls down to this intersection, as you can see, there's a little, little area that flicks just down here that will flick the ball out for you into the pocket. And there we go. There it was again, flipping the ball into the hole. And the trick is to essentially get, oh, very close there, is to either get it into one of the fire holes here or onto this here. And that's where all the action is. You get 10 balls for your one penny, so it's quite a good game, plenty of game use out of it. There you go. And we're going to get one. Oh, this might be another. There you go. And did you see that little flash of red there? It comes all the way round flicks out again. It's, it's just a lovely machine to watch into the five hundred pocket. Uh, we're down to this might be one of the last bits, let's see. Whoop near. Oh what a shame. Um, I think that'll come all the way down and flick up, yep. So that's the last ball so we haven't seen this but I will show you this system in a minute for now though the, the way to win it is I'm going to just lift this card because we haven't actually stuck it down yet and as you can see it has I don't know if you can see that well lots of different scores on it so counting these scores 1005 2000 2005 3000 3004 3,009, so going off that, more than 3,005, the person playing would have got the professional. And they would have gone away quite happy with that, not quite a champion, but still there. Uh, now, I'm just going to show you this system here, because I think it's probably worth pointing out how it would work. Uh, so Chris, if you'd like to just come and kind of flick it, so we get an idea of how it looks. To get that system to work properly, I'll take one of these balls, give it to Chris, that for the best look on it, you're better having two 500s. And then as the ball hits that, that's what happens. So if you can imagine if you're in play, it's just quite a nice touch and then it flicks it here. So there you go. That is our Jenko Spitfire from 1930s, late 1930s, all ready to go into our lovely um, Penny Arcade, which you will find on www.traditionalfairground.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.